people of the internet. Hey, Amber. 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 If you have Pokemon, she loves them all. I'm a movie tuber, sort of. I also <laughs> love Pokemon, Kingdom Hearts, various games, and anime. I'm also a Twitch affiliate, and I love to stream. And hopefully, I get to do more of that in the future. So as you all know, I'm also part of the I'm Oscars, also Twitch affiliate. as one of the hosts. And I gotta say, it's pretty awesome. Last year, mm -hmm. I did both when Volume 7 ended. And being this again now, but and again, as a host, I'll be doing funniest moments that happened in Ruby Volume 8. Now, Ruby That's has awesome. a lot of moments throughout the years, whether it be hurtful moments, happy moments, uh, moments that make you actually like connect with the character. There's one kind of moment in Ruby that helps us cheer us up and give us a good laugh. That's right, I'm talking about funny moments, like I said before. From Ruby getting blown up back in volume one, to John getting hit on by thirsty moms in volume seven. These are the nominees for funniest moments in Ruby volume eight. John walking away from Ren and Nora. <laughs> Which are the favorite from volume three. Uh, oh! water under the bridge buddy <laughs> i'm uh gonna go see if i need any help with penny penny explaining through. ruby's semblance do not worry this ruby is capable of traveling Gilbert. at an extreme velocity from one point to another by breaking herself down to her molecular components thus negating her mass and then reassembling them at the destination theoretically making it possible for her to transport all of us in the same way as mass no longer matters what? rock hitting john <laughs> Ow. Everyone, ow! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm uh gonna need your attention. You got you gotta laugh and keep from crying. Now how do we use this thing? It I seem being looking pretty sus. If you lie back in the tube and I'm pretty sure, launch, I'm pretty sure this is gonna I'm pretty sure this is gonna win again. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> And the Oscars for funniest moment and Ruby Volume Made goes to Weiss getting vented. Weiss gets vented. I figured. Ow, ow, come on. That was a once in a lifetime experience. <laughs> and I can see why. I, and I'm sure many of you, absolutely lost it when Nora just happened to hit the one button all the while Weiss was trying to explain how these shoots work. Thank you to everyone who voted. This year's Oscars, and thank you I voted for, West Game for keeping this show going. Honestly, I've been a fan of Ruby since the beginning. I was originally a Red vs. Blue fan back in high school, and then when I first saw Bill's Ruby, cool I me. immediately like became such a huge fan of it, as you can see from like my posters <laughs> and the many and many figures I've bought throughout the years. From the I very see, beginning, I see Genlock right there. You can see the transition from how it all started to right now, all the voice actors, all the animators, screenwriters, everyone is awesome. And I can't wait to see more of this in the future. And for the Ruby community, it's just such, such a fun thing being a, to be a part of. And I hope you all enjoy this as much as I do. Again, thank you all so much for voting. Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy, AKA Jeremy Noir Productions. I'm so excited to be here with everyone for the 2021 Oscars for Ruby Volume 8. I've been a fan of Ruby ever since the end of Volume 2, and I can't wait to see what Kruby does with the rest of it. Now, my channel doesn't exactly have much Ruby content at the moment, but Same. Cal and Arnold keep inviting me back for these things, so I'm sure I'll He's make some He's a chill and active Ruby fan on Twitter. Sometime. Cool. When it comes to Ruby, one of the things that the fans love most, and arguably even the people that work on the show love most, is the characters and how they interact with one another. Whether it be a familial relationship, a platonic friendship that's as strong as any type of familial blood, or even a romantic relationship for you shippers out there. And so, let's bring attention to that. <laughs> the contestants for Best Relationship Development for Ruby Volume 8 are... Emerald and Hazel. Go! Now! Hey, Daddy Hazel and Bear come back to Inchibi. Friends, family, and lovers. Hazel. Go. Oh, that's Penny smile. and Winter. You were my friend. Two volumes of role reversal. Thank you for trusting. I think me. I think I voted for this honestly. When you're I, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure this is my either number either I my number one gone. two or number number uh, number one I'll or number two. You. Good. I'm glad. Ren and Nora. Why didn't you say anything? Beep. So we failed as a team, Beep. but we Beep. succeed as a team too. I was the one holding us back. Not John, not you, 
me. Well, you're wrong. All I do is make dumb jokes and smash things with a hammer. What? That's not true. <sighs> you put everything you have into what you do. You support everyone around you. You help without worrying about how it might hurt. And that's what I love about... That's why I... I love you. Ruby and Penny. I was the protector of the That's Mantle. in both shippers. I feel you. But now, I am much more than that. And I wish I was not. But you're still you, Penny. By becoming the Winter Maiden, you did protect Mantle. Thank you, Ruby. Weiss, Whitley, and Willow. How I wish Winter could be here. Yeah. What's up? I didn't forget you. <laughs> And the Oscar for Best Relationship Development in Ruby Volume 8 goes to... I'm not surprised in the least. Penny? It's uh, Ren and Nora. Course. Okay, that's fine. When my mom ran from the Grim and left me behind... Ren and Nora. You found me. We became Ren and Nora. But I realized on this mission apart... I don't know who just Nora is. And if I'm ever going to find out, then I have to do it alone. You because I've always, always loved, loved you, Lyren. And that pretty head on your shoulder seems like it's doing a lot better. But I still gotta get mine sorted out before I can be the partner you need. Is that I'm okay? Okay. It's definitely okay. It's definitely okay. <laughs> I figured Ren and Nora were going to win. For me, they definitely were one of the best relationship outcomes to come out of Ruby Volume 8. It's very rare in media, at least in my opinion, to see a romance that actually comes out and says that these two people need to figure out who they each are as a person before they can get into a romantic relationship and force anything that could become something toxic. And it's just something that speaks to me very personally, and I'm definitely glad that everyone on Kruby decided to go that route. All I can say is, wow, this is amazing. Thank you again, Arl, Cal, and everyone else for giving me this opportunity on the Oscars. And if anyone from Kruby is watching, I'm probably fanboying on the inside because of that. But, like, <laughs> I'm just excited to be a part of the Ruby community. I'm glad I could be a part of this project. So, yeah, have a nice evening, guys. Cool.